Look in the fridge. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawei, and we're going to do a cooking vlog today for you guys. Woohoo! This cooking vlog is sponsored by Dwarka Organic. When they first approached us to do a cooking vlog, we were like, Hells to the yeah! I'm going to be doing the cooking today because, as we know, La Jabs is useless in the kitchen. When Dwarka gave us some suggestions for what we might cook, biryani was on the list and I was like, yep, yeah, that one. I remember when we went to India, that was one of my favorite things to eat. I'm also an overachiever and it's a very complicated dish to make. Yeah, all right. Cool, are we doing this? Oh uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, here we go. I have been soaking this rice. It says to soak for 30 minutes. I'm sorry, Uncle Roger. I'm using a colander. We are going to boil the rice. Let's do this. I just want to be in it too. Yeah, we want you in it, Javi. The flavor of my hands makes it extra good, don't you know? I am going to turn on this thing and let it boil. So that is step one. There are a lot of steps. Step two is caramelizing the onion and cashews and pan frying vegetables. Caramelizing the onions and pan frying the cashews. Don't over pan fry the cashews. I might have done this wrong. Okay, this, this is why I don't cook. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Cause I'd be Asian. I ain't going to measure out three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Asians don't measure. I'm gonna take some of Dwarka's cloves. Smell that Jabby. It smells good. It smells great. It smells like cloves. Mm. Ooh. I didn't know what cloves smelled like until just now. Two cloves in the rice. Such a little spice, so powerful. I'm gonna stir it with a spoon. You're not gonna use your finger? Not this time. <laughs> now I'm going to heat the ghee in the pan. Does it say medium high heat? I'm gonna assume medium high because... Because what? I like to turn up the heat in the kitchen. But I'm already here. You get it? Because I'm, I'm hot? Yeah, I get it. So I'm just going to put some onions. One of the cool things that really stands out to me about Dwarka, their commitment to sustainability, and they do this on two levels. One of them being to support the productivity and the prosperity of the farmers that they work with, which, as we know, farmers are super important. Also, just in trying to have the most efficient and great tasting, excellent products. Look, it's caramelizing nicely now. It smells great. We're so close. Ah, cooking requires so much patience. I'm like, be done. Next is cashews. I don't know how many we're supposed to cook, but I'm just gonna cook them all. I am going to drain this bad boy. The recipe says I can add a little bit of ghee into the rice, so I'm gonna do that. More ghee is more flavor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Now, I'm going to put potato. Next, we have the cauliflower, beans, and carrots. So we're gonna saute these bad boys too. I'm really useful. <laughs> You're giving me moral support, Jabby. Have you ever had a biryani before, Jabby? Biryani is actually inspired or influenced by the Mughals. It was actually a dish considered to be royal. And because I'm fancy, and you're fancy. I fancy. You so fancy. You already know. I'm like the furthest thing from fancy, but I'll take a fancy <laughs> meal. I'm gonna put it on the same plate with the potatoes. Hey, Jabby, can you can you tell me what the Hindi word for potato is? The Hindi word for potato is patutu. Next step. What are we doing? Ooh, we're gonna make some saffron milk. Because Jabby is lactose intolerant, we are going to be using coconut milk. Once it's warm, we're gonna add the saffron strand. So I have the ginger, garlic, and chili, which I made from scratch. That is warm now. The recipe says to take a generous pinch of saffron and then to crush it. Ooh, yeah, crushy. 
We're just gonna infuse it like that in the warm milk for about 10 minutes. Oh, look at that beautiful golden color. Now I'm gonna take some of this fabulous Dwarka sunflower oil because we're gonna fry some stuff. One and a half tablespoons. Whoopsie. Is that one and a half tablespoons? Maybe. Oh, we got some fun, fun things to add. Just a couple cloves. One, two. It's small, but mighty. Here, have you ever smelled a cinnamon stick, Jabby? That's really nice. I had a weird look on my face, but I actually liked it. It's just potent. That's the good stuff right there. Cumin seeds and the bay leaf and peppercorns. Shit. I'm supposed to be able to get a peppercorn out of here. Maybe I don't need a peppercorn. I'll just... This is probably wrong. Cumin seeds. How many do I need? Half a teaspoon. So I'll just do like a pinch. And then a bay leaf, a single bay leaf. Whoops, that was two. Is it gonna make it taste weird? I hope not, that's what we're doing. Onions, or as you say in Hindi, yas, right? Yas. I'm salivating like the spices. So now I'm going to add the crushed garlic, ginger, and chilies. Mirchi, my favorite. You wanna smell it, Chabby? Whoa. <laughs> Does it smell raw? It just smells strong. It kind of smells like Thai food to me. I mean, it smells strong in a good way. It's like... Pleasantness times a million. So now what? So now what? Remove pan Remove from pan heat. Remove from heat. Done. Done. <laughs> we have to whisk in the yogurt. So this is our faux yogurt. That looks nicely mixed in, doesn't it? Back on the heat, booyah. Add in the veggies. Those beautiful veggies we pre-cooked. Now we're going to add more spices for that authentic flavor. They're gonna use the biryani masala. You could use a garam masala powder, but since we do have the biryani masala, that's what we're gonna use. And then we're gonna use a chili powder. One and a half teaspoons of this Mmm, fragrant, delicious biryani masala. And then we're just going to let the veggies cook for another six minutes. So I'm just gonna prepare this pot. I'm gonna take some ghee. It's gonna not stick to the bottom, hopefully. Now, we're gonna layer the biryani. Super fresh and tasty. Gabby, I want you to try it first. I'll give you some potato. I'll give you some carrot. Like, like feeding a baby. Good? More. Cook doesn't even get to try her own food yet. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> Everything that I make is spicy. Let me try, let me try. Mmm. Oh my God. What? This came out way better than I thought my first try at a biryani would be. This is so flavorful and hot damn. They are not kidding around with that like spicy, like that chili powder. And that was just like the medium one. It wasn't even the hot one, but damn, that is good. I'm not one for describing food. Um, it's spicy and yummy. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Pretty good. I wonder if maybe next time we should get something that Jabby can help with cooking. Dwarka was kind enough to give us a whole bunch of other Indian spices and stuff. I am actually super stoked to do more of these food vlogs. I definitely want to cook more Indian food now. Close out the video. I'm eating now. Close out the video. OMG, 
Jabby, there's like a whole pot in the kitchen. I'm super appreciative of the spices and ingredients that we got from Dwaraka. And if you guys are in the US, please check them out. There are links in the description below. And also, please comment and let us know what we should cook next, because we're gonna make these a more regular thing. And I'm super excited to learn more about Indian cooking, and I'm sure Jabby <coughs> is super excited to eat the food, right? What? <laughs>